Hello everyone, I hope you are well. So, I didn't know I was going to release this video today. I've had a week of video disasters, shall we say. <laughs> Doesn't always go to plan. Um, I released a dragon video yesterday and there was something wrong with it so it's had to be pulled I will redo that for later this week and I thank the person who emailed me and messaged me on the Reiki Dreams page to tell me the issue thank you so much I then went up the hills yesterday to do an earth healing for you with a camera phone it was a beautiful healing I might release it as an audio um, but the camera was positioned in the incorrect place and you could only see the ground <laughs> above where I was working not on there and then I had to fight my way back through brambles and got cut to pieces so it doesn't always go to plan the YouTube videos <laughs> It's a learning curve. It has been a learning curve for the last two years. I never thought I would be doing this. I didn't even know it was a thing. So I wanted to release something for you because I know you like having a couple of videos a week. So I'm going to do a meditation with a, bit, a little bit of healing. But perhaps we'll ask your guides and whoever comes in for this to help. And I'll just hold space for you. So we're going to do a meditation based on one of my favorite decks of cards. And I've just selected quite a good chunk of them to take you through. So breathe out. Start to relax your body. Taking a couple of deep breaths and just release any tension. And really start to look down your body with your mind, with feeling, starting at your head and just check for any tension in the muscles and relax when you find it, consciously relaxing those muscles. shoulders now and physically drop them, relax them. A lot of us hold energy there. Then down your arms, checking for any tension and gently letting that tension go. Relax. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment and nobody needs anything from you at this moment. Moving down your body now. Checking for any tension. And letting that tension fall away. Working down your trunk, your abdomen, to your thighs, checking for any tension and gently letting that tension go. And then down your legs, 
checking for any tension and letting it fall away. We're striving for peace, healing and tranquility. I'm just going to work around your auric field brushing behind you with the selenite just brushing it through your aura anything that no longer serves you anything that is not yours just letting it fall away sides and over the back over your head and down your back okay and I'm going to put those either side of you to radiate their energy your body. Okay, and let's settle down now. Let's grow roots out of your body, down past your hips and knees, through the floor and into the ground below you. They grow downwards and downwards and downwards until they reach the very center of the earth where they wrap themselves around a giant crystal and here's a piece of red jasper so grounding those roots down wrapping them around that jasper and keeping you tight to Mother Earth. And I'm now going to draw the Daikumio, the Tibetan master symbol above your head. And I'm going to push that down through you. Daikumio, Daikumio, Daikumio. So I'd like you to imagine that you are in a sacred space, a room of your choosing. There's a comfortable chair in the middle a shower in one corner and a doorway out to the astral levels and as I draw the choker ray in to activate this meditation and then the distance healing symbol Honcha Tse Shoten Honcha Tse Shoten Honcha Tse Shoten And I'll also draw the Seiheiki, the cleansing symbol in. Pushing those all into you, guiding them down through your body and your auric field to take effect as we go on the journey. So I'd like you now to imagine that you are sitting in the chair in the middle of this room. And I want you to 
imagine you're looking up and a spinning Merkaba descends from above. And this has two pyramids and it's just going to hold it above you and imagine it descending and moving all around you and encasing you in its amazing energy and this will help you travel. Okay. A beautiful 3D Star of David, also known as the Merkaba. It is spinning around you. It has its little rainbow lights. And it'll help you to travel. I'm just going to place that also right underneath you there. And through that Merkaba, light and love and protection descends through the Merkaba, also called the Antakarana. And as it descends, it activates the crown chakra. And then it moves down through the third eye, activating and opening it. And then down through to the throat, opening and activating it. Down through both hearts, through the higher heart, and the lower heart, opening and activating those energy centers. And then it descends through to the solar plexus, opening and activating that energy center. And then down through the sacral, opening and activating that energy center. Finally, down to the root, which it opens and activates before the energy travels all the way down through your feet and through to your lower energy centers below your body. So it's coming from above and also from below right down your chakra line and now that they are all fully open I'd like you to imagine standing up and walking across your room to the shower stepping in turning it on and a beautiful golden energy cascades out washing your auric field clean all of those annoyances, the anxiety and the stresses of your world disappear now. Down the plug hole to be dissipated in Mother Earth. And when you feel cleansed, you step out of the shower and walk across your room to the astral doorway leading out into the astral levels but first of all I want you to open the door and step through it onto the other side and close it behind you and there are three steps leading down into a beautiful ethereal world colors and things that you've never seen before fire letters holograms crystals 
in this beautiful world and there is a tree of illumination right there and it shines with its light language and its aura reaching out towards you and you go and stand underneath it resting your back against the trunk and you can also feel it grounding you but also extending you at the same time and you might feel that you stretch so that you encompass all the ethereal levels in this place. And you start following a crystal pathway. And this can be any color you wish. And you just start walking along it past beautiful lakes filled with sumptuous colored fish and you're going to keep walking through this liminal space and just up ahead of you is one of your spirit guides don't worry if you can't see them just trust that they are there it may be a normal person, an ascended master, an angel, an animal, or even a family member. And they greet you warmly and start walking along the pathway with you. And you can feel the tingles and the energy and the love that they emit in this liminal space and they tell you that you're going to go on a sacred journey today you are a seeker they tell you you like to work on your self-knowledge and up ahead of you you can see a beautiful archway of violet and gold and pink roses all made out of crystal and you walk underneath this angel gateway which further cleanses and purifies you feel it as you walk through it Feel it working through every cell and every space between the cells of your body and your aura, lifting you still further. And then you keep following the pathway with direction, with purpose, knowing that it will change you for the better. And as you look down at your feet, you may notice different crystals that you walk through. And you will need just these. They will be right for you at this moment. And as you connect with them, as they crunch under feet, you thank the mineral spirits and the crystal beings for their help. The pathway turns and you are able to see other pathways leading off into different liminal spaces and hidden worlds. But your guide knows exactly where you are going today. They are taking you to an Aurora Garden Temple. And you may see 
this temple in front of you now, all made of crystals, glass and semi-precious stones. There may be gold and silver and platinum inlay. But you come here and walk up the steps to this special place. Feeling the light codes working all around you. And you walk up the steps and through the colonnades where there are certain fairies and angels and other light dancers waiting for your arrival. They greet you and your guide and they take you into the temple of dreams. You enter that middle doorway and walk into the light that this crystal temple radiates down on you. And this crystal temple is activated from the moon and also from the sun and all of the celestial planets and stars which radiate their light down towards you. And as you are taken into this special place, there's a fire at the centre and inside this fire is a pulsating fire crystal of orange, of yellow, of white, of gold, of copper, platinum and all other rainbow colours are emitted and there is a cushion in front of this. Note its colour as you sit upon it. And your guide sits down next to you. And as you sit there marvelling and bathing in this wonderful ethereal light, a light priestess walks towards you. She offers you galactic wisdom and cosmic ritual healing. She starts dancing around you, radiating the energies out. Just feel this now and if you have any questions about your pathway, you may ask her. just drawing a light symbol called Jure into you to help the light priestess lift you up. Next to come before you is the seer and she can help with your future prospects and the decisions you make. So if you have any questions for her, you may ask or just simply enjoy her healing. And she may have a crystal ball or a light mirror in which she will seek the answer. Just add 
activating that with the double choke array. Next to move towards you is the oracle. And she comes with a bowl of herbs and oils and resins and she sprinkles it into the fire now and the smoke wafts towards you the incense of those herbs cleansing clearing activating bringing prosperity in and you may be able to Breathe in and recognize some of those used. And she stands for sacred living and spirit speaking and intervention. If you have any questions from her, you may ask her now. beautiful ethereal beings raise you up onto your feet and you all glide across the space towards a table laden with objects and they tell you to choose a gift for you if you are unsure of what you have been drawn to you may ask. And I'm just going to put this pure perfume oil onto your throat. And this has got blue tansy, bergamot, lavender, and some other things in. Just feel that opening up your throat to help with your communication. I'll put some on my hand. Breathe in the spearmint flavor of it as well. Clearing your communication area and we communicate from here all the way up to here, don't we? And one of these light beams gives you a bag now made out of the prettiest fabric for you to put your gift into. And you thank them very much. And then one of them whispers in a secret to you, a secret about yourself that you did not know, a secret about how powerful you are, a secret about how beautiful you are, except it's not a secret. take you back to your guide your guide stands up now and takes your hand and then as if by magic two angelic light beings glide in 
from either side and they each take a hand, one of you and one of your guide and you are still joined together and then the four of you lift up, 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 right up through the temple skylight and out back across the aurora garden flying and feeling the air rush through you. You look down on the temple and the gardens and the ponds and then you look in front of you and you see a rainbow arcing and the angels are flying straight through it and they ask you which colour would you like to fly through and you tell them now and you enter the water crystals feeling the light codes enter you as you ride up the rainbow in that colour and down and over the other side being bathed in that certain colour that you wanted. And that rainbow's end finishes right before your sacred space steps and they bring you to land gently. And then the angels cocoon you in their wings. And they radiate angelic protection, love and healing to you for the remainder of your day or night. They make sure you have your gift. One of them reaches out and strokes the side of your face and looks lovingly into your eyes. And then they take off again and fly back. So your guide now places a hand on each of your shoulders and emits a grounding energy. And then they tell you to come back and visit any time you like and that they are always with you only a thought away. You thank them and you turn and walk back up the steps. Three, two and one and walk back through the doorway, stepping through and closing it behind you. And then you walk back down to your comfortable chair sitting down and ground in with your feet and as you do so the light vehicle Merkaba lifts back up off you and it comes to spin above your head as one of your upper energy centers right up above you about two to three foot and it stays there and it spins and know that it will be lowered by your mind whenever you need it for traveling journeying and protection Now we need to close down. So I'd like you to imagine a door closing on your crown. 
your third eye, your throat, your heart, your solar plexus, your sacral and your root, sending all excess energies down to Mother Earth for her healing. Imagine stepping into a navy blue sleeping bag and drawing it up over your head. Peace above you, peace below you and peace all around you. Let's remove the jasper. And I'm now just going to lift these selenites just to seal your aura front, back and sides and above and below and then grow those roots out again and breathe out Namaste and lots of love to you all. Bye bye now.